couple months ago, I made a video on TikTok nurses. And the video somehow got even more cringier and stupid than they already were. I thought it was impossible to already cross the line we were at, but apparently I'm wrong. So today, I'm looking at a couple situations that went down with TikTok nurses as of recent. And of course, along with that, cringy TikToks. So yeah, let's jump right in. Would you slap a patient for a million dollars? Wow, what a great stuff. It ain't about the money. If I said to someone, yeah, man, I'm gonna slap a client for free, I would get fired on the spot. Even if I was joking, I still would get fired. And you really got those stupid 2015 MLG glasses. You really brought them with you to make the video. That's just a whole new level of sad, bro. Like, she's clearly at the office right now, so yeah, go do something productive. Get the hell off TikTok, your 10 followers can wait. Ix, labor and delivery edition. My ick is when you come in for your induction, talking about, can I take a shower and eat? What? My ick is when you ask me how much the baby weighs and it's still, and it's still in your hands. Icks. At work, bro, they are literally at work right now. Talk about their icks. That's like talking shit about a Zoom class when your mic's on. And then they're just gonna post it to the internet thinking that your boss is probably not gonna hear about this. 200 IQ right there. These icks are f dog shit. I don't even care. It just icks in general are trash. They're just stupid. I saw one ick. It was like when you can't find a parking spot or whatever. It's so dumb. It's the most petty thing imaginable. Want any pain medicine, no epidural but you are at an eight out of 10 pain just to serve a deal and you're still closed, fingertip. Well, we've already told you to push the call light, but every five minutes, your Excuse family me. member coming at the front Excuse desk. Me, can I ask them why? Ask for something else. Excuse me, can I have a blank? Yeah, whoa, what happens? You People ask you to do things at your job? What? Yo, that's crazy. Okay, look, I worked as a cashier and I had things that people did that would completely annoy me, but guess what? I sucked it up because I'm not soft. And I'm not gonna air it out to TikTok like, oh my God, this person did this and did it. It just really annoys me. I'm like, no. And then plus they were there in uniform Form at the job like that is just asking to be fired that is a horrible look for the hospital and for you if you're complaining about your patients okay another egg when you're going room to room between one baby mama and your other baby mama oh no Ick. <laughs> it's the unlimited trips to the nurse's station for me Ick. Oh my god. It's so bad. Bro, you probably get paid a decent amount to be a nurse, bro. I think you could deal with the ick. Like, I have stuff I don't like about YouTube, but I do it anyway because it's blessed me with an amazing opportunity. I'm not gonna sit here and make a whole ass video on my YouTube icks. That would just be stupid. And you guys, we're gonna have to do some serious detective work to see what took place after this video. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, what's this? Atlanta nurses fired after making comments about patience in TikTok icks trend. These Atlanta nurses have been fired after their ick challenge video went completely viral. Now, once this video went completely viral, people started coming out with their own stories about some of these nurses that they had experience with, and this is what some people had to say. Oh man, this just gives me the ick, guys. Oh my god. What did you expect to happen? You're basically putting yourself on public display on TikTok. Of course you're gonna get fired for this. You're making your hospital look bad. I don't know how the hell this went viral. I heard people IRL talk about this shit. That's how viral it went and supposedly even more patients have had bad experiences with these nurses Hey guys, just coming to check in. How's that new equipment? What the hell are you guys doing? Yeah, I could just imagine their boss walking in, barging in the door. Hey, get back to work now. Like, I could just imagine him flipping out when they're filming that. See me up in the club with 11 girls. Posted in the back, got my bangs in my grill. Brooklyn brim with my eyes sitting low. Never born here with me, got that small. Never go. He's gonna act like Benson from regular show real quick. Get back to work or you're fired. Like, bro about to be sounding like Benson on the track real quick. Quick. Wait, I'm not surprised that even moms are out here filming TikTok. Yeah. Literally everyone and their mom is on that app. I could have said, I just gave you a Norco. Get yo druggy ass out of my face. But I didn't. I said, you're not scheduled for another four hours. Do you want some Tylenol instead? Okay, even if you said that, that is a horrible comeback. Am I supposed to sit here and be like, oh my god, that would have been devious. Roasted, roast. Like seriously, someone has got to get the fan. That was, that was easily the roast of the century. And yeah, it's a part of the job. You got to treat patients nicely. Whoa, that's crazy. Even if they're kind of a dickwad to you, you still gotta do it. I've had plenty of bitchy customers at my job, but 
but unfortunately, yeah, I, I just had to stay professional even though I had to deal with some Karens. It sucked. Or I'm just either extremely nice to piss them off. I'm sure you're breaking tons of guidelines if you were to say that to a patient. When he says, come over. No, because actually that, that is, she's talking about me. She's pulling up because, <coughs> you know, I'm, I'm really <coughs> sick right now. And oof, ooh, I think my leg just magically snapped in half. And, you know, I think I'm in real need of medical assistance, you know. Oh, who could help me? Who, okay, let me shut the hell up. Okay, I don't know if the hospital's gonna like this one. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. If some representative or like your boss at the hospital sees this, oh boy. Uh, d good luck. That's all I'm gonna say. Why do nurses have the best butt? Wait, I already saw, I watched a video just like this in the last video. I think I think it's a trend. There's probably gonna be more down bad people in there like, oh my love, you look gorgeous. Please go that way. It happens every time. I don't even gotta check this time. Y'all know what happens. I mean, I've checked comments plenty of times to see some simpery going on. Well, good thing the ID was flipped for your sake. Yeah, that, that would have been tough beans if it wasn't. Nurses don't get paid enough for this. Some things Kevin. You do what she's asking you to do. Okay, this guy's definitely got some screws loose. Yeah, no one at like their jobs gets paid enough to handle these creatures, we'll say. People who deal with these creatures will say need a raise. I'm not putting my soul in here. I don't need your soul, I just need I'm not putting my soul in here, lady. Just put the damn phone in your belt or anything with metal in it in the damn box. Like, it's not that deep. I don't know, some policy for something. Just do it or get out. You gonna take me to the post and whip me? Hey, yo, what the hell? Bro, what the fuck? This dude, this dude's gotta be delusional. In there. Now you can stand like a I'm not a star. I know, but I'm not a starfish, mate. Bro, just do it. Shut the hell up and do it. It is not that deep, bro. All you gotta do is put your arms out and get through the security. It'll last like 30 seconds if you actually do it. Less than that if you don't like make a fucking fuss about it or whatever. Or doing whatever the hell that belt thing was. I don't know what the hell that was. That that raised a few eyebrows, I'm sure. Okay, we're not gonna we are not gonna show the rest of this clip. There's sandy cheeks involved, we'll say. If you get me, you get me. Stop the seed oil madness. All of these chips, seed oils. Every single thing in here, seed oils. Vegetable oil, canola oil. Okay, look, I'm no nutrition expert, but of course, if you overconsume chips, you're gonna be built like Nick Avocado. If you do it, like, for a very long time. But eating chips in moderation isn't gonna kill you. And then I don't know why this dude's looking like a caveman over here with no shirt and no shoes in the middle of Walmart. Like, bro, put a shirt on. Like, some stores are no shirt, no service, I think, right? They won't even be able to ring out his groceries, because sorry, no shirt, no service, bro. Corn, soybean, sunflower. Every single thing, okay? In that aisle seed oils how can you avoid this how do you avoid this i don't know don't buy any chips if you really hate seed oils that much then don't buy chips i don't know and then let other people do their shopping instead of recording a tiktok bro was just trying to shop back there like damn apparently this guy's a doctor and i don't know maybe after this video he went up to the guy and he was like hey you stop right there stop buying chips this is seed oil madness that i could just picture him breaking down in the mill over some goddamn chips yeah no shit they're not the healthiest thing in the world I me making sure all my patients sleep all night because they kept me up all last night yeah bro the whole squad is definitely laughing at that one you got some blank faces for that one no one's laughing bro. like she's got to be on her joker arc or something like she's making jokes about od and patients meds so of course who knows with her she might get her own feature film like the joker soon she's got to be like low-key in her joker arc carrots which have furano cumarins which are not good for you so there's no vegetables. you got broccoli which has more isothiocyanates so help us shop for life. let's go we, we gotta run in a second but you just want to go to the meat section okay i don't know why this guy's just reviewing random people's carts at walmart and just telling them yeah whatever you're buying here is bullshit like you don't want to eat all meat i don't know why this dude's telling them let's go to the meat section like you can't live like a carnivore like humans are meant to be omnivore Okay. And don't eat the bread either, because that has grains. Okay. Can you get so like? We've been lied to our whole lives. You've been lied to your whole lives. 
Look at her, she's fanning herself. She can't handle it. She's getting so hot with all this new information being dropped on her. Like, bro, you gotta follow that stupid nutrition pyramid they showed you in school. I guess this dude didn't pay attention in health class. Like, you gotta have balance in your diet. It can't just be only me. Like, you gotta have fruits, veggies, dairy, all that stuff. Comment triangle if you made it this far. Thank you to my members, as always. And if you don't see another video from me this year, thank you guys for all the support this year. You guys bless me. I really appreciate you all watching the videos.